Today's tease, go check the Pope's Twitter likes. <laughs> apparently, the the Pope, apparently the Pope's, and I, the, it's no fun without the picture, but the Pope's Twitter account was seen liking a bikini model's rather risque photo. Ah, well. A lot of hip being shown there. <laughs> and <laughs> breasticles out to here. <laughs> men are men. Yeah. This is True Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true, as far as you know. You may remember that though we are twins, and a lot of people don't may or may not know this, we, we were born on a, the same day, yep. um, just hours apart. Yep. I in Kansas. I in um, Minnesota. Uh, his mother was in jail at the time. She and not. she wasn't? They'd no. let her out. Bail. <laughs> That's a nice thing. In any case, um, I often have to hearken back to my Kansas roots. This one actually comes from Topeka, Kansas, where I graduated from high school at Washburn Rural. I'm thinking this is a Topeka West kid because no Washburn Rural teen would be taken into custody after covering himself in ranch dressing, damaging property, and crashing a car. Eh? Uh huh. Shawnee County Sheriff's Office uh, said a teen was taken into custody. This is a while back. By the way, this story was sent in from my son, Ian. Um, deputies responded to Petrol Deli mm -hmm. at around 3.30 a.m. When they arrived, they found a 17-year-old naked and under the influence. There's a shock. According to the official report, he'd covered himself in ranch dressing, damaged property inside the business, jumped into a running vehicle, and crashed it into a pillar. Deputies took him into custody, but didn't take him very seriously. If you <laughs> want to follow my. <laughs> if you're hey, Topekaites, Topekans, oh, whatever the heck we call ourselves. Um, how will we ever overcome if you continue to allow your 17 year olds to do this kind of crap? That's right. Just ask. Should be Don't? Caesar dressing. What are they thinking? <laughs> Georgia cops thought they found a dead body alongside railroad tracks. And as policy dictates, law enforcement officers aren't allowed to touch a deceased person until the coroner arrives, so they placed a sheet over it and waited, not realizing until the coroner arrived that it was actually a sex doll. Hmm. According to WSAV, Detective Michael Albritton found the fully dressed body, if you were, and once the coroner arrived, detectives began to check for injuries, instantly realizing that the body was, in fact, a sex doll after they checked for injuries. Don't they have eye exams in the police? The fully dressed anatomically correct doll, duh, had realistic skin and features, authorities said. The Liberty County Sheriff's Office believed the lifelike doll was placed there as a setup for police. And the police failed to close the door. Oh, they were perfect. Opening joke. Yeah. Well, they just acted silly. I mean, because the skin would be waxy and not clammy, right? It'd be plastic, Scott. It'd be plastic <laughs> skin. It would kind of glow, probably honk if you touched it. What is it with you and fake people uh, over the know. past few stories? Because you I got the wax lady. We did. You got the wax hand that oh, holds Oh, the hand, hand holding thing. And yeah, now which is disgusting, by the way. On the, yes, it is. And then we have that. Mm. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to take over the screen here. For Maybe my, I should be in the hospital. <laughs> I'm going to take over the screen here because you must, you must see this. Uh, where is it? Why, why can't I take over the screen? Am I going to need my spe <laughs> Just remember, we are trained professionals. Don't try this at home. Oh, no, that's wrong. All right. Maybe you want to try a few things like this at home. That's wrong, too. I can't. Okay, for you some reason. probably oh. do this on your own at home. Hold it. I, I was hitting the wrong button. Shut up, you. Now, here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, just a window of the screen. I went this one. So, you know, I've been reporting on uh -oh. how toilet paper has yeah. been in short supply, depending on where you go. So I decided yeah. after my wife sent me over to Target, said, hey, might as well get some toilet paper while you're there. <laughs> and I could find, you know, exactly one 12 pack. So I went looking on Amazon. I found Cottonelle Ultra Clean care soft toilet paper with active cleaning ripples <laughs> which was the first thing that sort of caught my attention um, <laughs> um active cleaning ripples ripples 
I got to tell you, I'm never eating a rippled potato chip again. <laughs> well, and there are other products with ripples that shan't be mentioned at this time. This isn't what bothers me. No. Here's what really bothered me. What really bothered me? If you go up you, and you find Cottonelle Ultra <laughs> Clean Care Toilet Paper Strong Bath, one used and new from 2633. <laughs> that's uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. one that's used a and <laughs> well, yeah. Ames, Your police, turn. Ames Police Department received a vandalism report, found graffiti in rather festive red and green spray paint with a veritable herd of juvenile tags. I mean, they were very juvenile tags. So I'll the get police, them. The police department wrote in their Twitter account, we are currently interested in speaking with all six to 10 year olds and any immature husbands and boyfriends in the area. And they shared a photo of the poopy pants tag. <laughs> <laughs> adding <laughs> this is several hundred dollars worth of damage and we are definitely telling santa if anyone has any information please get in touch with the ames police department or santa claus i think you and i could be considered guilty because somehow, i've used poopy pants more than once somehow a poopy pants story after the toilet paper story just seems wrong this is true really news Send email to TITR at netradio.network.